Hi, I'm Dr. Frank Sinekrop, a professor in the departments of gastroenterology and medical oncology at Mayo Clinic. I'm going to discuss my recent manuscript in the New England Journal of Medicine on Lynch syndrome and how to evaluate patients for this syndrome and how to treat those who develop cancer. Lynch syndrome is an inherited cancer syndrome whereby patients are at very high risk for developing colorectal and uterine cancer, but also several other cancers, including those of the small intestine, the kidneys and ureter, the ovary, the stomach, and the bile ducts. And Lynch syndrome is the most common inherited colorectal cancer syndrome and accounts for about 3.5% of all newly diagnosed colorectal cancers. And if we consider the total number of colorectal cancers that are diagnosed each year, about 4,000 of these patients will have Lynch syndrome. Now it is unfortunate that patients with Lynch syndrome are often undiagnosed and even when they develop cancer. And this is generally due to the lack of knowledge of the syndrome and oftentimes the failure to take a detailed family history. It is important for patients to know their family history of cancer, including parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, siblings, as well as the age of di diagnosis, particularly the cancers that have occurred early in life. And this is challenging nowadays as many families are scattered and may not be in close contact. There's a 50% chance that an infected person with Lynch syndrome will pass the syndrome on to their children. Criteria were developed to help identify patients with Lynch syndrome, and they're useful but it's important to note that nearly one half of affected families do not meet these strict criteria. So the criteria include three or more relatives with Lynch syndrome associated cancer, typically a colorectal or uterine cancer or others, but one of these patients being a first degree relative of the other two. And also cancer involving at least two generations and at least one of the cancers being diagnosed in a person uh, before the age of 50 years. So in addition to these criteria, there are particular features of colon cancer and Lynch syndrome that are important to know about. These cancers occur at, at younger ages, uh, generally 45 to up to 60 years of age, compared to the typical age of 69 years for most colon cancers. And there's also some important features of these cancers. Uh, they typically develop on the right side of the colon, and it is not uncommon to have more than one cancer found within the colon at a given time. And also, a person may develop more than one colon cancer within their lifetime. These are kind of tip-offs to the possibility of Lynch syndrome. So why do patients with Lynch syndrome uh, develop cancer at such high rates? It's because of a, mu of a mutation in one of five genes that repair mistakes that occur when our cells copy their DNA during cell division. These genes function to repair mismatches in nucleotides that make up our DNA strands. And it's similar to the inability to correct a letter uh, in, a, in a word when typing. And this leads to multiple mutations that develop within the cancer. Now this DNA abnormality, uh, abnormality in DNA repair occurs more, most commonly from a non-inherited mechanism that inactivates one of the mismatch repair genes. So in addition to Lynch syndrome, we're talking in aggregate 15% of all colon cancers are affected with this uh, abnormality. Currently, Mayo Clinic and other hospitals are testing all newly diagnosed colorectal cancers for this DNA repair defect using cancer tissue that is removed from the patient. This is for diagnosis, but it also has important treatment implications. So these cancers uh, in Lynch syndrome, or those who have the mismatch repair defect, are hypermutated. And that uh, results in them triggering an enhanced immune reaction in the tumor that can be seen when you look at the tumor under the microscope. So the most exciting news is that these cancers respond very well to immunotherapy. And while the immune cells cannot kill the tumor cells due to proteins called immune checkpoints, we now have drugs known as immune checkpoint inhibitors that disable these proteins and enable immune, the immune system to kill the cancer cells. One such drug is pembrolizumab or Keytruda that can produce major responses in about 50% of patients with a Lynch syndrome related cancer. These responses can be quite dramatic and lead to prolonged patient survival. This treatment is currently approved by the FDA for patients with metastatic disease, and I'm conducting a national study, which is available at Mayo Clinic, to evaluate immunotherapy in patients with colon cancer that is spread only to lymph nodes around the tumor, uh, which is known as stage 3 disease. So this is a very exciting time, since we have much better treatments uh, than ever before, uh, for in particular this subtype of colon cancer, which Lynch syndrome is an important component.